Hey guys, Dan here from VHix411. Today in front of me, I have a Mercedes E-Class ignition switch. As you can see, these do fail, but in this case, somebody just, I don't know, they were probably trying to steal a car. So I will show you how the clone process is done on these. There's several ways you can do it. One way, I'm using a hex tag programmer. There's other programs you can actually do the clone. Uh, Abritas, you can actually read the ignition switch just by connecting some connectors through the back and reading the key information from the original. But to clone it to a new one, it's an easier process if it's a virgin. Now cloning it to another used one, it's a little bit difficult process because you have to unlock the used good unit and then program it so I will show you how to do with the hex tag super simple as you can see I already took one of them the bad one apart and soldered in that way we can save some time on doing the work um, I'll go to my hex programmer click on Mercedes electronic ignition switch w211 since it's a w211 right here you can see that right W211. So we'll just click on W211, click on the wiring, <clears throat> and it will open us a diagram. And we will connect it according to the diagram. As you can see, it is connected according to the diagram. Just like the diagram my power supply, my ground supply, my coax cable, and race satin the rest of the wires so as you can see soldered exactly we will go back to our programmer and I will read EEPROM first and see if it reads it as you can see it gives me an error no external power supply I'll connect the external power supply to my hex tag programmer and read it again so I'm locking the MCU Now, what I like about the hex tag for the ignition lock, it's a fairly quick process of reading and writing. As you can see, the EEPROM was read really fast. I will save the original, so W211 EEPROM. I'll just put W211 original. And then I will do the flash read. And read the flash. Alright, I will save this one also. I'll put it as original. And done. So here we go. I will desolder. Alright. We're done reading with that, the original one. As you can see, really nice and broken piece. All right. I unbolted the two bolts to speed up the serv the process. And we're just gonna follow the instructions on their software. some solder on the locations where we need to connect it to so in this case it will be right over here okay we'll have one here we'll have one here We'll have one over here. Here's the ground. 
Now this one takes a while to heat up. So we'll have one here. And one at the bottom over here. Let's see, we have three of these. This guy, we got this. And it's right on the bottom. Over here. All right, so we got them all connected. I'll put some flux on my ground. That way it's easier to connect to it. It's the flux that I'm using, liquid flux. All right, and we'll start with our power and ground. So power and ground. Tangled up in here. Here's the power. Here's the ground with my flux in there. Okay. Here's the yellow. Here is the blue. And my coax cables. We got the black and white. I'll just use black first. All right. Confirming, making sure it is <clears throat> according to the picture. It does look good. I will just hit EEPROM first and read this one again. Complete it. And I will just put new. I always like to say old and new. Sometimes customers love to confuse which one's old and new and then you just program a new one to an old one and then you're stuck with both of them. All right. <clears throat> Let it read the flash. Now, if you need this clone service done, you can go to Carmen Auto with a K. I'll put a link below the video and at the end of the video. Uh, if you want to do it yourself, you just seen the tutorial. Super easy, just using the hex tag. Um, other options, like I said, with Avity is a little bit complicated. I usually use the Avity one if, let's say, the ignition switch was broken and not salvageable. So I'll read the information the fps information which is the key information from the ecu and then just manually unlocking the new or used uh, ignition switch and programming that way it's just more complicated but it's possible if you don't have ignition lock or it's unreadable now since we can read it i will save my flash file from the new one so new i'll save it now we'll go back to eprom will load W211 and as you can see we got the original EEPROM I'll open it up and I'll write it so I'm locking the MCU just like I did before it's gonna try to write the file now writing takes a little bit longer but this is how you do it All right, it's completed. We'll go to the flash. We will load our flash. W211, original flash. All right, then we will write it. Same process, unlocking and writing. Very common problem in the Mercedes either somebody trying to break it open or it just goes bad, key doesn't turn over. I mean, if you have a properly diagnosed and it's ignition switch, this is the service for you or you can do it yourself. 
All right, it's completed, done, 100%. I will remove my solder points. Here's one. Okay, I'll clean it up. Make sure there's no solder in there. Inspect it. That way we don't have any shorts. And I'll just pack it back together. It's done. So that's how the cloning service is done in ignition, Mercedes ignition switch. Uh, if you like the video, give, give it a thumbs up. If it helped you, if the tutorial helped you, or if the service helped you, give it a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.